Legends. Uh, here we are, a couple of days after Shark Bay. Uh, Buckley and I have hit the dirt road. We're in the middle of nowhere. Now uh, we're uh, we've just uh, come off the bitumen and we're getting into station country. So we're north of Carnarvon, basically everywhere Carnarvon, uh, north all the way maybe up to the Exmouth Gulf is uh, you know it's filled with lagoons and incredible reefs and scenery and camp spots and fishing and all the rest of it and you know it's all very very well known it's just about making the effort to get up here you know, you've got Coral Bay, Exmouth, uh, Ningaloo you know all very much on the world map um, and uh, in terms of places people want to get to so we're gonna go a little bit more off-grid than that it's still uh, we're still on you know known spots and designated campgrounds but it's an opportunity for Buckley and I to get off grid for a week, go fishing, go diving, go exploring this coastline, film the reefs and uh, see what's floating around, the turtles, the sharks, uh, dolphins, the rays, just see what the reefs are like, the fish on them. This is us for now, out in this desert country and uh, we couldn't be happier, so stay tuned and uh, we'll, yeah, see what unfolds the next week because I've got no idea either. So unfortunately the spot we've um, allocated ourselves the next week is definitely not ideal to anchor the boat in the water at night. It's actually, there's no way in hell I do it, as you can see. And you got waves coming in there, so camp here tonight, find some reception up on a hill somewhere and try and change the booking and find somewhere I can actually launch and launch the boat and then pick it up you know back in a week you know you know I could launch it here uh, but you don't have to be pulling it out of this kind of this kind of stuff every night because um, yeah you'll probably come unstuck on one of the times bit of a bugger but we made it before sunset so so we can hope for and he's stoked That is a long drive out to that camp spot to find that I can't launch the boat uh, to then have to rebook a different camp spot and do the very very slow crawl back. I haven't hit I haven't hit six kilometers an hour in over an hour and a half now. <laughs> um, definitely different towing a boat but it will be worth it once I get it back in the water. got him by the throat. So it's a bit of a quiet old ocean today. Uh, nothing was taking the jigs. I've chucked some bait on the jigs. Now I'm getting hit but they're mainly little fish so I know this area does get hit pretty hard by surrounding um, communities. I think there's a school of mackerel yeah, halfway to the bottom. Probably just thaws off again. See so if we get the next one. Probably 
just shark mackerel. Had two, lost them both at the boat. Must have only just hooked them. Yesterday, I think the next three days ahead, the wind is in from basically sun up, so southerly, south, swinging southwest. Uh, you really can't do much. Um, it's horrible out in the boat, even in the lagoon. Um, you know, it's just you really can't do much at all. <laughs> So I've woken up this morning and uh, to this, there's a bit of a lull in the wind. Uh, I know that subtlety's coming in, but now I'm really just trying to work out what the hell to do. Do I go for a snorkel? Do I try and go for a spear? Do I head out the back and try and deep drop? <laughs> Too many options. So I'm just packing everything and then uh, I'm getting ready to go. Kiss castles don't grow on themselves. You gotta help out, it's only the start. So I will go, it'll take forever. I we can wait just one more. Kiss bad times don't fly. So I've only been out on the boat for. 15 minutes, um, you know, since I woke up and the wind was nice and that wind's already kicking up now, so already the option to go out wide has gone for me, um, just with this boat, I don't know how it will be once you get out there. You can definitely go squidding, you can jump in for a dive, uh, but unfortunately the surf is a bit small, so yeah, the surfing option would have been great. Get a little wind wave in before uh, before I take off, but it might have to be a dive and a squid. Fix my mistakes in the mirror. Maybe I've changed more than thought. Kiss castles don't grow on themselves. You gotta help out, it's only the start. Gods have played played good for us today. Uh, it's still relatively light southwest. It's definitely in. Uh, so I'm going to jump in the water anyway, make the most of um, the conditions and uh, swim around the reef and do a uh, do a bit of filming for you guys. This beast. Show you how beautiful it is down there. Still not offshore, still not like 
amazing for for um, some free diving out the back. But it's not that bad for a little flick of the uh, flick of the squid jig and floating around out here. Buckley's asleep on the front. It was a horrendous um, little trip out behind the heads. Uh, it was choppy out there, even the wind chop was breaking, so not the best size boat to be out there in. Um, now Buckley and I are just going for a little squid in the lagoon and just got one um, on the little Abu Garcia. And uh, yeah, hopefully we'll go another one or two and go have some brekkie. We're all friends here together the best of run out here fishing wise so it was awesome to get some squid um, we had a couple of hookups but we got sharked and we had uh, quite a few days of pretty average winds which you know uh, reduced our chances of getting fish out wide uh, and it's all sanctuary close to the shore so there's uh, really not much we could do but chill out and, and wait for that little weather window Today didn't quite happen the way we hoped it would. Uh, the wind was meant to hold off a little bit longer. It kind of is, but it's still it's still a bit too rough for me to go super far out. Uh, a bit sketch without a second boat anyway. Bigger boat, you'd be absolutely fine out there. Um, might just get a bit seasick. Drink 
girl.